Hey everyone, it is Audrey and I am so excited because I got a package in today. Uh, all of the videos that I do over at Social Media for Beginners, I always come on the camera first, kind of explain what we're going to be going over in the videos. And then I jump inside of the social media and kind of do some screen sharing with you of how to do it. Well, I did 20 videos last week, and as I was uploading them onto Vimeo, it was saying that um, I couldn't upload it in like an HD. And so I do all of it using the camera on my computer here. I've got like an Acer little laptop, and I thought that I was <laughs> recording in HD. I, I don't know, I, I'm really not, like that tech savvy but um my dad napoleon's idiot is and so when i told him i said dad like none of this stuff is is going up as high definition and these training tutorials are used in assisted living facilities where they will be huge on on screen so um he told me he said i hate to tell you this but you're gonna have to get an external web camera that is hd and so he knows a lot more about that stuff and my package came in and as I was opening it, I'm thinking, you know what? I think I might need to do a video about this because I have a lot of senior citizens that when I do go into these places, ask me what's the best web camera for Skype. And so I got mine in today and I figured why not unpackage it and use the camera this part of it to show you what i got and then i'm gonna hook it up show you how to do that and then use it so this is the camera i got i actually even got a tripod if i can get it i know it's like really small um yeah it's a lightweight mini tripod so if i want to hook this up over to the right or to the left i have this tripod that i can do so so let me go ahead and get that box out of the way so it is the logitech Boo -doo -doo -doo. still in its package it's the logitech c920 hd pro webcam so let me go ahead i've got like these little baby scissors i used to use for my my kids <laughs> when they were younger i still have it uh let's see get this open okay let's not put your fingerprints on the camera audrey <laughs> all right so here it is i don't want to drop it let's see okay hd so got the instructions which looks really, really simple because it looks like all I'm gonna have to do is plug it into my USB. So, yeah. Those are um, pretty straightforward, I think. Gosh, don't mind my fingernail. I gotta go get those things done. <laughs> anyway, um, there you go. Two, two things. That's all I have to do. Okay, so unpackage it. I don't wanna break it. So I'm pushing it through. Okay, so here it is. It's got like this little plastic thing on it. Ha ha. Okay. That stuck to my finger. Wow. Okay, so here we go. First thing, cool beans because it um, can go ahead and attach to the tripod that I have. So that would be really neat and easy to do. Just hook that up to the tripod. And now this, if I'm not, this is where I can put it like behind and, and hook it up to where this, this camera that is recording me now, this kind of would sit over it. So what we're gonna do is, oh, and it goes all the way up like that. That's pretty cool. And that, that, that even does like moves around. So if you've got like this little thing, see what I mean? Like I can bring it up and I can bring it down. So just a little bit. And so, all right. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this recording and I'm going to install it, but I'm going, but in order for you to see kind of what it does on the screen, I'm going to record my screen for you so that you can see the steps that I take when I plug this in. Now this is the USB, okay? So on your computer now, like I said, I'm doing this on an Acer laptop. So if you have, um, from what I understand, I didn't need, I don't need, this is Windows 8, Windows 10, and it says on Windows 7 that when you plug it in that you would need the Logitech webcam software. So um, I'm sure if you go over to Logitech under their support that you can download the software because I did not get any software with this. And I have, I'm operating off of a Windows 8.1 on the Acer laptop. So I'm just gonna plug this in and then do the on-screen video tutorial for you. Okay, y'all, I know I said that I was gonna go ahead and hook this all up and show you the video tutorial, but as I was doing that, I found some really cool stuff with this thing I wanted to show you real quick. Because I am on a laptop, the screen is a lot thinner, and so I was trying to like put this up behind the screen and it was kind of precariously sitting there. And so what I did was I had closed this up, and if you notice, it has like this little gap in between there. And so when I went and I put it on the screen, on the little monitor on the laptop I have it actually fit perfect so there is like this little lip or this little notch right here that you can put on your screen and it'll hold it up the other thing that I noticed is when I was taking all the plastic off of it I noticed that okay it goes straight up but this little thing was there and if you like I'm pushing in and that actually opens up and it's like a little stand. So it like just, you know, kind of stands there. And then you can kind of move that. So I guess if I wanted to, you know, um, videotape, I don't know, from, from up there. But I thought that was pretty uh, neat also. So you've got this little flap that allows it to stand up. And then you can put it on the tripod. So put that on the tripod. And then this also goes on the screen of a laptop and then this can also go on the back of maybe a bigger monitor so okay now i'm finished now i'm going to show you how to hook everything up so i am going to plug this into my usb ah let's see what happens so i'm going to click device setup and it's telling me to wait while it sets it up. So it looks like what it's doing is install, installing all the necessary files onto my system right now. Okay, so it appears to be finished installing. So now, of course, in order to use it, what I wanna try is going to my movie maker. I use the my movie maker. <laughs> There's probably other ones out there, but I'm just used to that. So I usually just go to the movie maker, but then I do all of my edits in Camtasia. So if I do file and I go to options, audio and video, I'm using my Yeti microphone. Now this Logitech does have a built-in microphone. See, you can see it right here, the HD Pro webcam but I really like my Yeti. So I'm gonna keep my Yeti on that one. And then available webcams. It says HD webcam, and that would be the one that's on my computer, but that didn't seem to be working that well. So I'm gonna use Logitech HD Pro. And I'm gonna say, okay, so let's see if it switches it out. So now when I go to my webcam video, there it is. And so now it's up here. Now interesting is that if I was, see now I can move it up just a little bit, not too much though. I can more move it down than I can up. So, so now I'm talking to you guys. I wonder if it's like a, what 
What difference is it? I have no idea. The really cool thing that lets me know that I'm actually on the Logitech is that there's these two blue lines. So it lets me know that I guess it's hooked up to that, which I, I don't know why I love the blue, that like bright blue. So anyway, um, gosh, this is so interesting. I don't know if it's made a difference. That's gonna be very interesting to see. So here is the Logitech and it's the HD 1080p. Let me switch back to the camera that I was using so that you can kind of see that side by side comparison. So here's the one. So, and here's the one on the computer. Other thing I wanted to point out when I was looking through this is the fact that this is full HD 1080p. It says that it works with, compatible with Skype, Google Hangouts, and FaceTime for Mac. So if you have a Macintosh, this is also compatible for the Mac as well. And so if you want it to FaceTime. And I just got finished actually doing a Napoleon's Idiot series with my dad explaining the difference between Skype and FaceTime. I'll leave a link <laughs> underneath of this video so that you can find what's the difference between FaceTime and Skype. So let me go back to the HD one more time because I like the blue lights. <laughs> just really curious to know like what the difference is to have like this side-by-side -side comparison. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too long, but that was very, very exciting. I'll also leave a link to this one that I purchased on Amazon because that was, um, I had a great deal over there on Amazon. So you can follow that link as well. So I hope you enjoyed this and you guys have a blessed day. If this video helped you in any way, why not like it, comment, and share it. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you won't ever miss these free tutorials and tips on how to stay safe online. Oh, and don't forget to check out our Napoleon's Idiot series where I teach dad all about the social media networks. Until next time, y'all be blessed.